What is up guys, Johnny here back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, I'm about to open my pre-registration crate with the Legends pistol inside. This thing's been sitting in my inventory for months and I was waiting to open it because there's a lot behind that. Well, first of all, I did not pre-register for this game. Uh, someone had an extra code and gave it to me. It's Big Red on my Discord. Once again, Big Red, thank you so much for the code. Really appreciate it. But there's been a lot of changes with this thing. When the game came out, they gave a code to everyone who pre-registered for the game. And some guys didn't know, but when you open that thing, it was scaling with your level or your actual level so some guys at level 13 opened their pre-registration crate and they got a pistol with power 138 or 145 or 210 and people were really disappointed because there was no way to bump it up to 250 when the max power was 250 but now with the infusion system you can boost it to the max uh, if you have the resource of course but between 0.5 and 0.7 if you open the pistol from the crate even if you were max level it was only 243 power and there was still no way to bump it up to 250 so i was holding maybe someday we had a chance to do something with it and here we are 0.7 update came out we now have the infusion system and the max power is now 270. I still waited about a week after the update to open it because I was 250 level 20 plus 6 and I wanted to wait until I was 20 plus 7 which is the max level now. Now how do you know if you're 20 plus 5, 20 plus 6, 20 plus 7? I made a video a couple days ago saying uh, if you're 20 plus 6 the items in the shop will be 261 to 3. Well that changed again. I checked the shop yesterday just before I leveled up. And the items were 260, 260.5 and something like that. But now I leveled up again and look at the shop. If you go at Big Red, everything is 270 guys. When you're max level 20 plus 7, even the uncommons are 270, the rares are 270 and the epics are 270 also everything. Everything you drop in missions will also be 270, even the comments. So let's go and open that thing. We will see the perks I get because I'm pretty sure the perks are still randomized. So I could be lucky or unlucky with the perks. And right now, there's no way to change the perks on your weapon. It will probably come in the future. They talk about uh, the infusion system will grow. And we'll probably have a chance to re-roll some perks. We'll also look at the stats of the pistol and compare it to the Mother's Promise. Uh, the range, the accuracy, the fire rate and stuff. And at the end I'll leave you guys with some gameplay to see uh, what the pistol looked like. So let's do this guys. I'm a bit nervous. I've been waiting for a long time to open that thing. So let's just do it. Open chest, Legend Pistol incoming. There you go, Legends Pistol, 270 power guys, it went straight to the max, 270, um, the damage per bullet is 228.8, that's max level, and I have a Mother's Promise equipped right now, you see the number is green, so it means more damage per bullet, 158.4 it says on the Mother's Promise per bullet, and once again, 228, that's a lot more damage than the Mother's Promise. Uh, now, the fire rate, I think we should not really look at the fire rate because uh, the Mother's Promise is kind of a burst pistol. It shoots two bullets at once. But I don't know if you can really compare a burst weapon with a regular weapon. Now, the accuracy, 0.8 for the Legend's Pistol and 1.2 for the Mother's Promise. The range is 14 meters on the Mother's Promise. Legends Pistol 9, so it's got a shorter range and the magazine cap is 8 for the Legends Pistol and 10 for the Mother's Promise. So at first glance, it seems like the Mother's Promise is a much better pistol. It beats the Legends Pistol in every category except the damage. Now let's look at the perks guys because I see Fire Rate, I see Elite, I see Crit. It seems like I got everything guys. Alright, here's the perks. 10 Fire Rate at the bottom is the maximum you can get, so that's a good thing. Uh, crit damage 13 is just under the max of 15. 9% damage is also one short of max. 10 to elite. We have 4% iron side damage. We got accuracy and we got pickup radius. So it's pretty near perfect. If we remove pickup radius for a double accuracy, it would be the nuts. But ouch, that is a very nice pistol with very nice perks. Now let's go shoot some aliens. I want to see that thing. Uh, you see uh, the fire rate gives you an idea. 
And uh, we know we got really short range, so we're gonna have to uh, like shoot enemies from close range, I guess. All right, that was a crit to the head. Yeah, he's got he's got decent damage. You gotta give uh, this pistol, but the accuracy, I don't know for real. We're gonna have to play a little bit more than that. But short range, not so great. The accuracy. I kind of like it though. I guess I'll play with it a little bit more. See an effective range? I was not even that far. So short range pistol, high damage, and very decent fire rate. Uh, the looks, um, look at that thing. Yellow, pink, when you run, you see the, it's glowing. The pink is glowing on top. It's got, it's got a very nice look. Let's go again. Kill some bad guys. Ineffective range. Like it? It's not bad, but I don't know. A lot of guys seem to prefer the Mother's Promise. You got you gotta be sharp with your aim because uh, you, you gotta be close but from close range it seems pretty accurate love the animation also reload animation pretty sick right, let's pick up these things one more the fire rate is pretty fast So yeah, I miss a gunslinger skill. It's 50% uh, extra now. It used to be 100% extra damage. You can imagine when you have a high damage pistol and you double the damage. Uh, that's pretty OP. They had to nerf it. It's sad, but it was it was nice. It's just it was too good for PvP and kind of ruined it. I heard. I was not playing PvP back then, so I never really experienced that, but. Imagine if you have a high damage pistol and you double it in PvP. I heard everyone was running pistol. Like, I don't even have it right now. I'm running the 819 still, so I don't have the extra 50% damage. But it would be it would be pretty good with extra like 50% of that. But yeah, it's, it's short range again. Uh, not so accurate. You have to be close. Now you'll see. I just dropped. Uh, Rifle and it's 270. So it's gonna help with the infusions for sure. So that was the Legends pistol and uh, zero perks unlocked. So you can guess when I unlock all the perks, it's gonna be even stronger for PVE at least. Uh, faster fire rate, more damage, more crit, more everything. So this thing is not bad at all. And once again, I think it's beautiful. Uh, accuracy and range is not so great. There's a lot of good pistols out there. But still, it's cool, it's unique, it's pretty rare. Uh, so I'll leave you guys with more gameplay. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment below if you have that pistol, how you like it. And you have better perks than that, because I think it's pretty hard to beat. Love the perks on that one. But once again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be back soon. Take care.